As I made clear last week, Huntley Meadows is full of all sorts of wildlife, both macro and microscopic. Speaking of which, here's a microscopic creature creeping through the moss of Huntley Meadows. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's a microscopic relative of the earthworm. If you take a close enough look, you can actually see this little guy, or girl's, heart beating. Out of all of the microbes I've filmed so far, I'd say this is one of the coolest. I also encountered another worm on this wet piece of moss. This nematode was slightly less interesting, but still pretty cool looking. Leaving the moss, I decided to explore some wet lichen next. I encountered a nematode here as well. Really, you can find nematodes pretty much anywhere. I also found these microscopic rotifers inching along the soggy lichen's surface. Alright, I'm sure you all are getting a little bit sick of microbes at this point, so let's take a quick break to see what macroscopic animals I spotted at Huntley Meadows. Well, for one, there is this impressive looking snapping turtle, as well as this box turtle foraging through the leaf litter and waiting for the annoying cameraman to walk away. Fortunately for that turtle, there were plenty of other interesting creatures to see, both macroscopic and microscopic. That's right, you heard correctly, we're returning once again to the microscopic world. Don't worry, it'll be quick. That gross, bubbling pile of goo was filled with a dense school of single-celled protozoa. These are probably paramecia, and they are gathering in huge numbers. It's kind of cool to see. Surprisingly, they were one of the only types of creatures I saw in this water. It sounds crazy, but trust me, I looked for several hours. I know, it's a bit of a letdown, but that's all we have for this week. And if you can't wait until next week, check out my YouTube, Instagram, or website. I've got a lot of my work there. Otherwise, if you're more patient, I'll see you guys next week with more wildlife content.